What up guys to my tomato growing guide. So the main thing you want to check when you're checking on tomatoes to make sure that you're, they're getting adequate water. You can usually see this. The leaves won't be so droopy. Like the leaves are really good right now. And also be careful guys because tomato hornworms, they actually hiss. Last year they scared the crap out of me. You can see we actually already had an attack from a tomato hornworm. I'll show you that video in a second. Okay guys, this is what a dead tomato hornworm or a similar pest like that, I do believe it is a tomato hornworm. I got them. You just gotta dig around like in the midday when it's um, hotter. They go underground around the plant. They live in the soil and then in the morning and dawn they come up and eat the leaves. And then it's, they're most like, they're a moth. So they'll fly off and lay more eggs. And get the rest of my children's. So right here, you can see we already got some blossoms. You can see that's pretty good. We'll have some fruit be setting. Um, some gardeners actually say to actually take off some of the blossoms when the plants are young. I don't, I don't really have a preference, so you can do what feels better to you. Just read up on it, make sure you don't kill the plant. Uh, this plant will actually be fine right now. It only had some damage. I just saw it right now because that thing, th those things can devour an entire plant in a couple days. So I caught that guy early. And you can see here, I'm pretty sure we got some uh, mold from the soil. I think because I watering it, my irrigation isn't set up, I, I water with the hose, right? So some of the water must have splashed off from the soil and got it some this. So we can actually take this leaf off. I'm just gonna take this off like that. You just throw it out. Doesn't matter to me. The plant will be perfectly fine. Uh, you don't wanna take all the leaves off. If there's more of it on the plant, then you might want to go to Home Depot, see what they got for you. There's actually some washes and stuff you can put on there that'll kill off the fungal infection. I'm pretty sure it's fungal. Uh, another case for that, it might be like deficiencies in the soil. My soil is actually really good. I fertilized it this year, put a whole bunch of new nutrients and stuff in it, so these plants should do really well. All you need to do is in the winter is use a manure that isn't too acidic, which I just use cow manure, and it, after a couple months, it won't really burn the plants. We, I will explain burning roots and stuff later because it's too acidic for the roots and it adds too much nutrients and stuff and it'll kill the plants, right? So the other thing I did add was the two years ago I did a um, mulch. You had the mulch, the wood chips, and those actually break down over a couple of years, add some nitrogen to the soil and some other stuff. I actually, when I was playing, I messed up. I put the middle too close to the outside, which is my fault, but the plants will grow fine. There will be a little air constriction stuff like when air goes through then more of that mold will grow from the soil because water stays on the plant. <laughs> but in Las Vegas, it's super hot so and dry, so it doesn't really stay humid, so we should be okay with that. And I just mounted them up a little bit. Uh, another thing to watch out for that I haven't seen this year yet are little white egg sacs that are on the side of the plants. Those are actually, I believe so, aphids. They may be other bugs, but usually when I catch them, aphids are usually accompanied by them, so they might be uh spider eggs there's a whole bunch of stuff like i had spider eggs infect my starter plants this season most likely they will be aphids and they can be other colors usually what i catch with those um you really gotta watch out for those they're easy to scrape off and stuff because they will not really hurt the tomato it'll it'll stunt it a little bit but all your other plants like i used to grow beans back here uh the aphids spread from the tomatoes to the beans and the uh, aphids are actually <laughs> very good predators in that sense and they attract ants and that's a whole nother fiasco and ants protect them because they produce uh sweet nectar so these are my main tomatoes this year uh now i'm gonna trellis okay guys i'm pretty sure he was the only one here that's the only grub i found or tomato or hornworm i found i dug up a little bit i'm not gonna dig all the way around i don't want to affect the plants but today i might as well show you guys how to trellis so these are all tomatoes uh, the, I think these are all full-size tomatoes. The cherries are over there. So there's also a weed right there. We'll pick that. And before you chell, let's just check each plant over. Like you can see this tomato got knocked over. You can see its roots are exposed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold that dude up right there. Uh, it's actually going to uh, mess with, disturb some of the roots there, but I, I want them to be growing upwards. So I'll just mound them up again. Okay, guys, it's super easy to do. We got our little trellis here. There are $2 at... Um, you can even get these at Walmart at Home Depot. And I actually have the color ones. Those are the super cheap ones. These ones I actually got donation from my grandparents. So we're just going to put it around the plant. Make sure you're not hurting it. You can move some leaves out the way. And now you're just going to push down in the ground as deep as you can right now. Uh, that should be actually okay for now. And then the plant will grow up. But that's super easy. Had a trellis. Get a couple more trellises. Trellis everything. I'll show you when I'm done. Okay, guys. These are my trellises this year. 
I used a couple different sizes. I'm pretty sure that's a cherry actually back there. The smaller one, so it's not growing as fast. They gave it a smaller trellis. We can always move up. Uh, these are just three ring trellises. You can get them at Home Depot. It's like 250. That's, I think I got mine. Uh, back here we got some actually pumpkins growing. They didn't do that well because I tried to transplant them instead of direct plant them, but we'll get into that later. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like. Lloyd Anderson Gardens out. I tried growing, I believe this was a watermelon last year. I grew them in trellises. They actually did not perform how I'd like, but still. <laughs>